A nuclear test last Monday was followed by the launch of six short-range missiles. And now North Korea seems to be readying for yet another test, this time of a long-range ballistic weapon. The Pentagon says it's observed activity at two missile sites in the north, the same type of activity seen last month before the country fired a long-range rocket. The U.S. Defense Department is on guard. Secretary of Defense Robert Gates has warned that North Korea's actions could spark a regional arms race. We will not stand idly by as North Korea builds the capability to wreak destruction on any target in the region or on us. Even China, a traditional ally of communist North Korea, has criticized its neighbor. Beijing has censored Pyongyang for not respecting the denuclearization program. We are resolutely opposed to nuclear proliferation. Our view is that the Korean peninsula should move towards denuclearization. We hope that all parties concerned will remain cool-headed and take measures to address the problem. The UN Security Council imposed sanctions on North Korea after its first atomic test in 2006, but they haven't been heavily enforced. In response to the latest threat, the UN is now negotiating a new resolution which could strengthen and deepen the existing sanctions.